Good morning, YouTube. Still in America's fourth most miserable city in East Dayton. And this is the starting point for where the video for America's fourth most miserable, well, the sty, the starting point of my video, the East Dayton Fabulous Ghettos, which is one of my most few, viewed videos. So, yep, a fabulous ghetto here that's just run down and falling apart. Still got a few houses here that people are still living in, but it's a struggle for these people in this depressed neighborhood there right there was a East Dayton Slumlords video just a few minutes ago. Jersey and Pleasant, hmm. I don't know what's really pleasant about this about this neighborhood, but Right here is another one that's vacant and looks like it's falling apart right here. Actually, I showed that house on the previous video. So, so yep, this is what's been allowed to happen here. Just a really run down and, and depressed area and we wonder why there's so much misery in this run down in this run down city of ours boy this just looks pitiful through here yeah. city needs to get out here and do something about this shit instead of spending money downtown because with all these arsons in this in this neighborhood it's just a matter of time before there's a string that that hits this they hit my block down the street late last year it's just a matter of time before it all because there was just one right over there a couple blocks away last week this is pitiful it really is I'm gonna walk down Burkhart, then I'm gonna probably get ready to cut this one. Yeah, I'm gonna walk down Burkhart, then I'm gonna cut this video. Yeah, some of this is, is in good shape, but there's just too many damn raggedy ass houses that's on the street, just, just a rundown. As this video said, he's dating fabulous ghetto. It just, the area is just falling apart. There really is no nice way to say it, but. Boy, I tell you, there was an article that named Dayton fourth most miserable city in the country. Looking at this neighborhood, you can see why. Seeing all this abandoned houses, burned out houses, it's pitiful. Yes, somebody's trying to sell this one right here, but good luck, there's so many of them. Ohio D, Rio D, partners, and you know, I just want to say, and I said this before, 126 Burkhart, I really would like to see something that is good happen to this city I don't like seeing this but it has to be exposed the reality on what's happened to our city because just a few abandoned houses just see right here is a beautiful house right there that one's not bad either but just a few abandoned ones it just creates a train wreck effect it's just a rundown Get over right there's another one that's not in bad it's not in bad shape but I just I just do not know what they can do to this man it just I mean the amount of abandoned properties and rundown properties and and I see one right over there that's looks like it's not secured either 
Yeah, and I showed this in that East Dayton Fabulous Ghettos video. See how they've jerry-rigged the porch? Yeah, look how this is run down. Three ninety-five. This house is not even worth one hundred. Right here, and just you saw a few nice houses, then it quickly turns into a fabulous, rundown ghetto. Man, it just—it's pathetic. And these, uh, this has been Jerry rigged up here, you know, for a while. Here too, and you see the effects of it. Surely nobody's living in that, but you never know in this in this darn rundown city. So yeah, you got about three or four right here that are abandoned right in a row. That are abandoned right in a row and then you wonder why the city is in the shape it's in yep this one is this one is that one is it's kind of funny that somebody thinks that that little lock's gonna keep people out of there because it's not current resident of Burkhart, so even then, I'm going to come back and start that one in a few minutes. I've seen an, addition, I've seen an East Dayton slumlord's house, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to finish up this video, then I'm going to, at the end here, then I'm going to start that one, but, so yeah, here we got more and more right here that's just Looks like possibly a second one that just there's another one that's a prime candidate. So here we got you know two right here that are a good a good candidates for an addition of it. Right there is not secured at all. Yeah, the house does not look like it's been abandoned for long. So. Yep, this is what's happened to our wonderful rundown and, and depressed city of ours. I mean, as long as we continue to allow this to happen... There's going to continue to remain misery and sadness in Dayton, Ohio. But I'm going to finish up this and then I'm going to do a couple more edition of East Dayton Slumlords. And this for sale by owner. Good luck with this, buddy. Good luck with that. Because you're going to you're going to need all the luck you can to sell this one, buddy. That's locked on that side at least. But... So yeah, here we got a whole ton of them. Right here. Approaching the corner of Burkhardt and Fifth. Right here. I'm going to get ready to end this one and start new ones. Kitty cat right there.
that one. I can't tell if anybody lives in that one or not, but there's Holy Family Catholic Church right there. But that's it for this one, YouTube.